potatoes going potate, taters going tate, and haters going hate. Today I'm going to be going to my first steeplechase horse course ever. So what exactly is a steeplechase? When my roommate texted me and asked me if I wanted to go to a steeplechase, I said to her, oh, is it that thing where you get to go on a tour like around the city and you go and see all the steeples in the city? And so she told me to look it up. And when I first looked it up, I saw steeplechase came up as like a human race, but she clarified to me that it's a horse race. So I looked into steeplechase to see what exactly it is and watched a video to see exactly what steeplechase horse racing is. I found that a steeplechase is also called jump racing and it's a cross between flat race and high speed cross country jumping. Flat racing basically means that it's just a race with no jumping and then high speed cross country jumping is horses running at full speed the whole time on terrain that can go up and down and they have fences that they also jump over. So steeplechases originated in Ireland in the 18th century and they were called steeplechase because it started with horses running from one church to another and the churches had steeples. So steeplechase horses are typically thoroughbred horses, which are just horses that will run races, typically flat races, which they just run on flat ground. Steeplechase horses are gonna be typically older horses who have experience both running and jumping. Typically they'll be geldings, and geldings are castrated horses. They will also typically have the jumps which are made out of like synthetic materials with like a pole wrapped in um, foam and rubber and having plastic on it. You'll also see steeplechase jumps that are made out of wood, um, so they'll have wooden frames. Um, you'll see bushes that are jumps, and you'll also see steeplechase um, jumps that are made out of rocks like stone yeah that's a little bit about steeplechases and now let's go see one together i decided to wear my chains and cute little green earrings and then just some rings that's all that's as fancy as i'm gonna get <laughs> oh wow! Oh. So I don't know if you guys know Lou Mandich the, from the Last Chance Garage in Unionville. He's the one who maintains this. So it's pretty, pretty simple. That's awesome. So yeah, it just sort of keeps put putting along. Yeah. And, uh, Looks pretty simple compared to my do. car when I pop the hood. <laughs> Well, the seat does come back, but I need to lubricate it so it oh, does wow. come back. Yeah, well, it's a big diameter steering wheel, 
because there's no power steering. That's power steering. Oh. You know about mechanical advantage from physics. So the, the bigger the steering, the lot less effort. Okay. Dude, so. I'll start it. I'll start it for you. You can take a video of this thing. Why? <laughs> because it's pretty. From the other side, it looks pretty. You just. I would, I would be a little, <laughs> I would be a little nervous. Yeah, you want to watch because you've got a couple things to do. Watch his hands. Okay. Oh. Now get back and watch his hands. Here, come, come around this way. Then go around the other side and watch it running. This is really cool because I feel like I'm literally like living things out in a movie right now because of how everyone is typically dressed in a certain way. Everyone seems like they have money, expensive cars, expensive looking clothing, lots of horses, all white people. Um, but yeah, wow, this is crazy. They have like food for you here, the antique cars, which was really cool. And they let me sit in the cars and they showed me how they start their car and the motor, how the engine, how it moves. Yeah, this is insane, but we're gonna see the horses hopefully soon racing, running. They're gonna be jumping and running around like the whole property. I don't know. Small pony flat race. It's called a flat race because there's no jumps. Fox hunting dogs. so quick now.
other jumping events, running, racing. How big is it? Five foot. It's just a baby. He's two months old, right? Months. Do you have like an exotic farm or something? Uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, I, I mean, like, yeah, I'm more. Like, 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 when he sees us, he's like, I'll catch the car. He's like, where are we going? Yeah. Like, uh, put, you put yourself on a wait list to get an email. Like, there's like. It's getting stormy and windy again. Very cold. The weather keeps going up and down, up and down. But we're going to try to see one more jump before we leave. But they might cancel, sadly. This is a dressage saddle. And what's the price tag on this bad boy? Uh -huh. $3,535. <laughs> I'm sitting in a $3,500 saddle. So this is a dressage saddle because this bump here forces your leg to stay perfectly straight. And then this pushes you like all forward. So you're supposed to ride straight legged. More or less. More or less. And this is a Voltaire um, hunt seat um, or jumper saddle. So. so you jump in this, so your leg is supposed to be more like bent and your that foot is supposed to be high. Here, knee, leg back. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I remember when I was first buying my show jackets, they told me to like. How I would be staying with my knee up. I think yeah. a little lax. Like, a little less. A little, little, little less. Yeah, like that. In this dress. This is not much cheaper. <laughs> $3,000. They add more weight. Western saddle. It's creaky. <laughs> I'm used to it more. This one, they're not that expensive. That one isn't, at least. But it's, it's nice, I like it. <laughs> you can hold Got on the stirrups more. now. <laughs> yeah. All kinds of like clothing to wear. These are like grippy on the butt and the legs. Whole bunch of bridles for dressage. Whole bunch of reins, rust plates. So after the show, we also visited like a local tack shop in Delaware and I didn't know that we were in Delaware. The whole thing was in Delaware. We went through the capital of Delaware and the tax shop I think was somewhere right outside of the capital and it was really fun. So I hope that you guys really liked the show. I learned a lot. I hope that you guys learned a lot or at least just had fun watching. Um, I tried to record as much as I could but the show was really slow 
and then at times you just didn't even know like that they already started their event and that they were going so anyways stay tuned for my next video